This is the Jamia Masjid, built in the heart of Srinagar, Kashmir, a 14th century mosque founded by Sultan Sikandar Shah Miri. It's built on an area of over a million square feet with a unique architecture that includes a courtyard laced with centuries old chinar trees, a central fountain and 378 pillars. Question no sak memory ak ak yadashta san ibadat ga kis chasan. Ye ibadat ga yem sat kashi ye buddhism bol bala us hindu dharm bol bala us. Ye mos minar banama ye mos stupas banama ye buddhism hindish minar banaya to is brang banan chim se shikhar banama ye mo karim sari element yakja pad do book sani ziarat te gatsan te sai asni yuthi baashi che kashir ziarat par kashir paitun panchan hatan saas swaris par ibadat ithan tamiran us karane sir badli andr ibadat ko andaz namaz andr parani us tar jame masjid it has been rebuilt thrice due to fires and has had major repairs over the centuries. Its centrality and importance among the people brought it to the attention of foreign occupiers in the 19th century. In 1819, under the Sikh occupation, the prayers and even the azan was banned. It was only in 1842 a Muslim governor, Sheikh Ghulam Muhyiddin, opened the mosque. However, the ban continued for the next 11 years under the new Dogra occupation, who had bought the valley from the British East India Company in 1846. Many historians say that such curbs were placed to curtail political mobilization of Muslims. The restrictions off and on continued until the late 19th century, when the British appointed its permanent resident to the region. Under the management of the Mirwais Rasul Shah, the head cleric. It became an important institution for the emancipation of Kashmiri Muslims. With the rise of the movement against the Dogra occupation taking roots, Jamia became central in creating a political and social consciousness. On the 13th of July 1931, 22 Kashmiris were martyred by Dogra forces and were taken to the Jamia where thousands of Muslims had gathered. The regime placed it under a siege to thwart further protests and contain the uprising. Despite the crackdown on the movement, Jamia became the hub of mobilization and awareness under Mirwais Yusuf Shah. After the creation of India and Pakistan, Jamia Masjid's chief cleric Mirwais Yusuf Shah was forced into exile by the new Sheikh Abdul Arji. However, it continued to mobilize Kashmiris to take part in the self-determination movement. In 1964, during the Holy Relic Movement, Mirwais Farooq, a 19-year-old cleric, became an important political figure of the self-determination movement. To empower the community, he built markets and kiosks around it to generate employment in the city. During the 1989 revolt, Jamia Masjid faced one of the first military crackdowns. Raids took place inside the mosque where many worshippers were detained. On the 21st of May 1990, Mirwais Farooq at the age of 42 was assassinated inside his residential office, leading to his 17-year-old son Mirwais Umar Farooq to take his place. Since the 2008 uprising, it continues to be under intermittent lockdowns and sieges. In 2016, under Mahbuba Mufti's regime, the mosque was under siege for 54 weeks. From 2019 till today the mosque has witnessed extended periods of lockdown. Only get big which was over at the bond. The mighty gate has not been sorry about. The dial go but by the spanish party pe asar rohini ti pe ba ya asar te tab ye mujhe me pan se hatte na theek so bhi wadi. Ka isko usko rite ait ak sukoon ak insaan se milan. The mirwais under house arrest has been barred from delivering sermons for 100 weeks now. While the current regime upholds the historical positions of empires and tyrants, the 6th century's old mosque continues to retain its historical place in the consciousness of the people.